Welcome back everyone. So in this session we are going to mainly do the revision of what we have studied till date till uh, yeah, up till this lecture that is all the types of angle through parallel and transversal. So I have already told you that uh, let us consider this parallel line M and L and let us draw one transversal over it that is T. Now if it if M and L, L is a transversal and T is a sorry M and L parallel and T is a transversal then let us draw few angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 8 angles are there. Now you have to uh, firstly tell me let us just revise what type of angle that we have studied till now. So as you can see firstly this angle 1 and angle 2 are what they are adjacent angle. So if I talk about adjacent angle so what can be adjacent see 1 2 and then angle 2 and angle 3 as well as angle 3 and angle 4 and angle 4 and angle 1 they all are what adjacent angle only. I hope it is making sense to you. Similarly, you can say 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8 and 8 and 5 all those will be adjacent angle. One more thing angle 1 and 2 will also make what linear pair, linear pair. Similarly, if you can see angle 2 and angle 3 also making what linear pair and similarly angle 3 3 and angle 4 and angle uh, 4 and angle 1 they are also making linear pair that is sum of these two will be equals to 180 degree. Now proceeding forward uh, we have what vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle. Now what is vertically opposite, what are vertically opposite angle as you can see over here only angle 2 will be equals to angle 4, angle 1 will be equals to angle 3, angle 5 will be equals to angle 7 and angle 6 will be equals to angle 8. Making sense? Great. Moving forward to corresponding angle. corresponding angle. Now as you can see corresponding angle are what? Angle 1 and angle 5. Angle 1 is equals to angle 5. Similarly angle 4 is equals to angle 8. Angle 2 is equals to angle 6 and angle 3 is equals to 7. They are what? Corresponding angle. Then it comes what alternate interior angle, alternate interior angle. What are alternate interior angle? See, this is what interior angles are 3, 6, 5, 6 and if I talk about alternate, so 3 and 5 and 4 and 6, they are alternate interior angle. Angle 3 will be equals to angle 5 and angle 6 will be equals to angle 4. Making sense to you? Great. Now there is one more that is what we have is a pair of internal angle that is angle 3 plus angle 6 will make 180 degree. Similarly angle 4 and angle 5 will make 180 degree. This is pair of internal angle, pair of internal angle, right. And using various theorems we can also prove that uh, uh, already, yes, that, that was all we have learnt in our uh, previous four, four lectures, right. We, we, we learnt about adjacent angle and then linear pair, vertically opposite corresponding angle, angle and internal angle. I hope this thorough review, this quick revision was uh, good to you. I am sure that you will excel in especially in finding the angles, right. 
so uh, let us move forward to one solving one question so before proceeding to the question let's have a look at one important theorem and that is this is theorem number 6 of this chapter so what does this theorem number 6 says lines parallel to one line are parallel to each other lines parallel to one line are parallel to each other what does it meant to say let's have a look so for example we have one line l and another line as m and another line as n so uh, according to this theorem what is given over here is if l is parallel to m and m is parallel to n then l should be parallel to n this is what meant by this theorem into the representation this is what my representation is so if l is parallel to m and m is parallel to n then in that case l should be parallel to n now let us have a look a short proof of it what it what is its proof let's understand see if Uh, what i'm going to do over here is just draw a construction let's there is a line t which is uh, a transversal so here is angle 1 here is angle 2 and here is angle 3 now if now if l is parallel to m then what i can say angle 1 will be equals to angle 2 why corresponding angle i hope you are getting it and also if m is parallel to n then angle 2 is equals to angle 3 that is again corresponding angle and if these two so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what i can essentially say from 1 and 2 what i can essentially say that angle 1 will be equals to angle 3 now if angle 1 is equals to angle 3 that essentially means that they are corresponding angle and then l will be equals to n so that directly implies l is parallel to n i hope this theorem is clear to you now let's have a look at the example let us have a look at our question and that is in the given figure ab is parallel to cd and angle aoc is x if angle aob is equals to 106 degree and angle ocd is equals to 114 degree then find the value of x see in this case what i am going to do i am just going to do a little construction over here and the construction is like that i am drawing one parallel line which is let's say a b c d e which is o e now what is my assumption is let a b is parallel to o e and o e is parallel to c d now here is one thing if ab is parallel to oe then what i can say that 106 and let us assume this angle this angle as let's say y so 106 degree plus y degree should be equals to 180 degree why because they are pair of internal angle similarly if i assume this angle as z right now what i am over here what i can say that 114 plus z will be equals to what 
again 180 degree so from here i can say that y will be equals to 74 degree and from here i can say that z will be equals to 180 minus 114 that is 66 degree i hope it is making sense to you and now what i am being asked is the value of x now x is equals to y plus z as you can see and y plus z is what 6 and 4 10 and 1 40 degree and that is how i have obtained the value of x i hope it is making sense to you and this is one of the application of what we have read till now again that's all about this example thank you so much